Hello and welcome to Mwalimu Kipepeo where we learn a thing or two. My name is Jasmine Ombo and I'm glad to host you today on this weekly platform. Our community has grown and I would like to take this opportunity to welcome our new listeners. This week's episode is on dental hygiene and I'm sure that it will be a very informative episode for all. Well, let's get right into it. Enjoy. Have you ever addressed an oral hygiene issue amongst your peers? How did that go? I'm sure it was not an easy task. Well, going forward, you can always share this episode to be on the safe side. Today's guest is my childhood best friend, Karimi Kinyua. We always hung out as a trio of three girls in primary school for very many years. And our friendship is now almost heading to 30 years plus, if not more. Now, I'm the only one out of the three of us who did not venture into the medical world. But here I am now addressing medical issues in one way or another. So for anyone out there, don't give up. Don't lose up, don't lose hope. There's always a way out. So Karemi will be telling us about various issues that are common in her career as a dentist. And hopefully we shall get to know some of those issues and maybe also get solutions to some other dental and oral problems at, that um, we may have a bit later. Hi, welcome to Mwalimu Kipepeo Karemi. Briefly, introduce yourself to our listeners, please. Hey there, my name is Dr. Karemi Kinyua. I've been a dentist for 10 years uh, with an affinity for cosmetic dentistry and a passion to teach people about oral health and um, oral hygiene. I'm also a mother of two girls, a wife, and an avid watcher of sci-fi films. <laughs> what are some of the common issues you have had to deal with as a dentist? So the most common issues that um, I've had to deal with as a dentist is uh, dental decay or cavities and gum disease. And uh, most of these issues are treatable and preventable. And therefore, sometimes it's very unfortunate to get people come in with issues that could have been prevented if only they had the knowledge and the know-how to prevent them. What exactly is dentophobia and how can one get over it? So dentophobia is the fear of dentists and uh, dental procedures. And dentophobia is very common. Fear of dentists is uh, something that I can assure you most people will complain about and uh, this is because dentistry has come from very far it has come from a very archaic place uh, where treatment was being done you know without anesthesia and you know dental procedures can be painful but at least dentistry is now evolving and there are different technologies that help uh, the procedures become more straightforward and uh, painless um, the best way to deal with dental phobia, I would say, is to get knowledge about uh, what your problem is, what the procedure is going to be, and these are things your dentist can take you through. What are the causes of discolored teeth, and what are the modern methods of treating the condition? We know there are many other traditional methods that used to be used before, but now there are modern methods of treating the condition. So what are some of those um, methods that have come up recently? Discolored teeth can be caused by either extrinsic stains or intrinsic stains. So extrinsic stains are those stains that are just on the surface of the tooth. Um, they are gotten from your diet. Maybe you're drinking too much coffee, you're drinking too much tea, or you're a smoker. You'll get what we call extrinsic stains. And this is just uh, treated by professional cleaning at the dental clinic. Then we have intrinsic stains. Uh, these stains are part of the tooth. They are within the tooth. And even if you clean the tooth, the, the intrinsic stains don't come out. So intrinsic stains can be treated by uh, procedures like bleaching, the, uh, treated by procedures like veneers, crowns, and um, every type of stain um, is treated differently. What are the causes of bad breath, even after brushing? And what can one do to permanently get rid of the bad 
order that comes out from your mouth so a lot of things can cause bad breath and um simply of course bad breath can be caused by whatever you've eaten if it has garlic if it has onion that will give you uh, bad breath um, it can also be caused by simply being dehydrated maybe you haven't drunk any water that day um, it can also be caused by dental cavities can be caused by gum disease if you've forgotten to brush your tongue for instance you can also get the bad breath but outside of the mouth you can also get bad breath from your throat or your stomach and so there are many many causes of bad breath that um can exist even if you're brushing your teeth uh where can people find you in case they require your services i believe you have someone that you practice yes so where is it that they can get you and if not there then also where can they reach you via maybe social media you can find me at amber clinic at the hub in karen and um, dm me you can dm me send me messages on uh, facebook i'm karimi kinyua on instagram karimi kinyua with no space in between looking forward to um, chatting with all of you that has been so informative karimi thank you so much for making time for us but before you go give us your parting shot I normally tell people when they think about dental, they shouldn't just think about their teeth and their gums. They need to think about it as investing in their smile. And a smile is a very important thing. It's what um, people meet. It's what maybe has gotten you the job that you have. Maybe it's the one that has given you the spouse that you have. It's what has given you the confidence to achieve your goals. So a smile is very, very important. And the same way we invest in what we wear and we invest in, in our hair, we invest in our nails, our skin, um, is the same effort we should put in when taking care of our smile. On February 11, 1990, Nelson Mandela was freed after serving 27 years in prison for fighting South Africa's racist apartheid system. His dramatic walk from the gates of the prison, hand in hand with his wife Winnie, captured the world's imagination. He subsequently began negotiations with President F. W. de Klerk that ended apartheid in South Africa. Now you know. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Molly Muki Pepeo. Please like our Facebook page for brand new episodes every week. Remember to like and share this episode with everyone you know. I'm Jasmine Nombwe. Let's meet next week for another learning experience. Ciao!